Thank you for joining us at Faith United Methodist Church for a time of silent prayer and quiet reflection in the style of the Taze community. We'll begin with lighting the candles. Come now all who thirst and drink the water of life. Come now all who hunger and be filled with good things. Come now all who seek and be warmed by the fire of God's love. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, giver of life, awaken our spirits to your movement on the earth. Awaken our spirits to hear your voice amid the loud drumbeat of our every day. Prepare a place in our hearts to slow the pace of the drumbeat, to slow our beating hearts, where we listen attentively and merge into the river, where we can begin to flow to the rhythm of your divine truth and direction. A reading from Psalm 16. O Lord, you are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my lot. The lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a good inheritance. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. My heart also instructs me in the night seasons. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my glory rejoices. My flesh also will rest in hope. You will show me the path of life. generation has gone deaf. Scripture and wisdom and relationships and personal experiences are all being ignored. We are consequently a generation of four wars and of the most massive arms buildup 
in the history of the world. In a period called peacetime, we are a generation of great poverty in the midst of great wealth, of great loneliness in the center of great communities, of serious personal breakdown and community deterioration in the face of unparalleled social growth, of great spiritual dissatisfaction in the middle of our great claims of being a God-fearing country. We have to learn to listen to scripture and we have to learn to listen to life around us. Listen, listen carefully, my child, to God's instructions and attend to them with the ear of your heart. This is the advice from a parent who loves you. Welcome it and faithfully put it into practice. Let us open our eyes to the light that comes from God and our ears to the voice from heaven that every day calls out this charge. If you hear God's voice today, do not harden your hearts. be reading from Ephesians, the first chapter, 15th through the 21st verse. For this reason, ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all of God's people, I have not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Creator, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know God better. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which God has called you, the riches of God's glorious inheritance in God's holy people and God's incomparably great power for us who believe. That power is the same as the mighty strength our Creator exerted when God raised Christ from the dead and seated Jesus at his right hand in the heavenly realms, far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is invoked, not only in the present age, but also in the age to come.
I now invite us into a time of silent meditation and prayer.
God, we give thanks for the peoples of the world and their leaders. We pray for every country in crisis. Bring a sense of calm to the nations. May we pause and remember you, God. Leaders of federal, state, and local governments, that justice and peace will reign. The police and those who administer our laws, all who have responsibility, that justice will reign. For essential workers, the frontline workers, and all of those whose lives are at risk, send your healing balm to the world. Give to all people a desire for righteousness and peace with the will to work together in trust, to seek the common good, and to share with justice the resources of the earth. Creator God, hear our prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. We here at Faith United Methodist Church thank you for joining us this evening. May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had, so that with one mind and one voice you may glorify the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.